Hello everyone, welcome to Top Gear. We are at the EQ Drive and with me is Santosh Ayer, who is the Director of Sales Marketing for Mercedes India. So EQC is of course, you know, EQ is a very important car from a couple of perspective. Now what are you looking forward in terms of numbers? See, for us, uh, first of all, uh, the, the objective of launching EQ is to commit to India our goal of sustainability. And uh, we have been saying that it's just not about the tailpipe emissions because, of course, EVs, uh, EVs don't have any emissions. But we are going beyond uh, that. We are also committing to recyclability as well as, uh, you know, ensuring that sustainability is there in the true sense. So it's our commitment to India. This is the first step when it comes as a brand EQ. Uh, in terms of numbers, to be precise, it's also a bit based on the availability because we have now big demand the moment the news is out but I'm not sure how much we will be able to get these units to India because there is our CBUs, uh, one due to the pandemic uh, because there is a shortage and secondly there is a global demand on markets where it has already been launched. So we are just trying to make the best and uh, we will see how it goes once we launch the product. As a luxury EQ is the first car properly which is coming and looks superb, right? It ticked all the uh, check boxes correct. So don't you think your competition will take advantage of it, they'll watch it and then they'll evolve, they learn from the mistakes of Mercedes or you think it's okay? No, I think we love competition because that's what drives the market and uh, that's what is driving demand and you know growth of the market also. So we are absolutely fine um, and it's good for the industry and the market in general if competitors also come in uh, with their product. So the more than welcome and we have our strategy, we play on our games the way we want to do it yeah. what do you have how do you answer the biggest question which people have the range anxiety I know it's not really a range anxiety because it can do 420 kilometers which is enough for a city driving but what we like to tell people for the range I mean so for us uh, EQC uh, electric car is more of an intra-city used case so you know you hardly do a Bombay Goa or a Delhi Jaipur in daily life uh, so of course you will need that for one to once in three months uh, many of our customers, for sure, we may have even an additional car in their family. But if not, we have some solutions even for highway charging, which we will announce at the time of launch. But for an intercity driving, this ticks all the boxes because uh, you just need to charge once in three to four days' time. There is no other um, uh, need of going to the fuel station, standing in a queue, sending your driver there. You come home, just plug it, and then the car is charged by morning when you are going to office. So I think the use case is much very good for an intercity approach when it comes to EQC. Now, uh, will EQC eat into any of your brands, like for example, you know, GLS or... No, because, in, see the, the customers who will buy the EQC, firstly, uh, they would buy for the novelty because it's the first electric from Mercedes-Benz. We have big fan base who wants to own the first electric Mercedes-Benz. So okay. definitely, that's the first uh, set of people coming in. The second set of people are who have a bit of sustainable mindset also saying that yes, uh, I think this current uh, pandemic etc has only bought that more saying that we need to be also ecologically you know, uh, responsible and uh, they would uh, like these cars and as I said, we see this to be the second or third Mercedes in their family uh, as such uh, to start with and then of course, uh, the, then there are followers who will come later who will definitely compare it with other cars but uh, definitely an EQC and a GLS cannot be compared except the price point. <laughs> So now we know the price for Yeah, but which we said yesterday that yeah. it will be upwards of a crore of rupees. Right. Somewhere there. Yeah. So you think if the price somehow comes down because of CBU, in later years if the price comes down, you know, of course, you, if you compare the graph with the sales, price plays a very, very important role. You think if you have a sweet spot of say 75 lakhs, this will fly off in big numbers? So anything at a lower price generally sells more, but you know this is a CBU. Right. And we have no plans for CKD as far as uh, the EQC is concerned because there is no CKD of an EQC worldwide. So mm -hmm. uh, definitely, so the price coming down, I don't see it may only go up because really of the exchange rate. Uh, you know, the, today with 85, 89 exchange rate and only going up, there is only a propensity to go up. So unfortunately, Correct. there is no way this price can come down. At, do you think any government subsidies can help? No, it's already, government is actually doing a good job by, uh, you know, many state governments have said that there are no road tax. So the good part of an EQC will be the showroom price will be the on-road price in many, like Delhi, Bombay, Bangalore, Hyderabad. 
all these markets uh, they don't have to pay 20% road tax on these cars so that's a huge saving for the customer already so i think that's but you have to pay the import duties as for cbu yeah, yeah. that remains import duties don't change for any of these cars so but if that changes can make a lot of difference for sure for sure any change in duties definitely helps uh, but we don't think in this current fiscal situation there will be any many steps uh, overall the pandemic has really hit luxury car brands and you know mercedes is like the leader over here so you think things will shape up better you think is looking good people of course, are when i look from the time we started opening up for example in the month of may uh, you know we started and then it was june and july each month is better than the earlier month for example august we are now close to the month end we definitely see august better than july and we hope that in the next 4 months time which is a festive period in india you know september end october onwards it starts even if the luxury car market comes as bit similar to last year levels i think it would have been great uh, not only for us of course we are selling more than others but i think we want the entire industry to grow uh, you know the overall luxury market to itself grow and that also shows the maturity of the market so in that sense uh, our view would be the overall market should grow including our competitors in the next quarter so what kind of uh, inquiries you've got like if you have must have a logbook like a lot of people must be inquiring for eqc so you have a huge number of people showing a lot of interest yeah the interest level has been there ever since we uh, introduced a brand in jan and uh, of course you know uh, they are just waiting to have a feel of the car because unlike a normal ic engine this has its own peculiarities and uh, as we said along with the eq uh, even before we sign on the dotted line uh, to take an order we would like uh, our guys to go check the customer's residence check whether he is eq ready in terms of the wall box installation etc and then nice. we do it so it's not like buying any other car we just want to be more consultative more personal uh, when we do this so we are not only looking at inquiries and order bank that's why we didn't do this booking open kind sure, of sure 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 uh, which is generally done for any other car but Correct. not for the eqc because this is more personal we would like to give this consultation and then sell the car rather than just yes. uh, you know take bookings in that's a great one so guys that was the eq if you're looking to buy don't wait because the price will go up there's a lot of demand There's a limitation in demand. Man has told us, and uh, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. Cheers.